Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be doing the no skills, no problem scenario. This essentially requires us to earn 400,000 simoleons without making any skill progress. So we cannot earn skills. We cannot skill up in like gardening or cooking, painting, writing, programming, you know, any of these skills that are going to help us to make money as we progress. We can't do those. That does not work. Likewise, we can't even do kleptomania because that requires the mischief skill to level up in. So I thought this would be really fun. Now, there's some obvious ways we could do this, such as gardening, we could still do. Obviously we wouldn't skill up in, but there are ways to purchase expensive produce that we could then plant, make a big farm and earn money that way. We're not gonna do that because we recently did that in another video. So we're gonna avoid that. We could also marry for money, which again, we did that in recent videos. So we're not gonna do that because that, that'll be really quick. And we could also cheat, which what's the point of even doing this video if that's that? I was thinking though, we could also use the selling table, which we've used a lot. Which we, Look, we may use, <laughs> we may use that because we can put stuff on there like collectibles, mark it up for a huge amount of money and sell it. But I was thinking we could potentially do like a retail store sell stuff that way and just see how long it takes to get to 400,000 simoleons because that's possible. If we earn enough to get expensive value items for the retail store and then sell those, that could work. Could also use dust bunnies, you know? <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I, I'm thinking that's the angle we're gonna go because we haven't really done that yet. <laughs> Look how many Samaj Renruts I have, by the way. This is from like all the one-off challenges we're doing. Every time I, I guess, select it, it just makes a new household. Seems a little unnecessary. All right, so I guess we're not gonna be doing cooking. I guess they just wanna be rich. I was just having a look. There's not really any bonus traits that are going to be that useful. Like, so I'll just go with the fabulously wealthy to start off with. Now, because I'm thinking, at least at this point in time, we're going to do retail. I would like to be outgoing. We're not going to be a loner for once because we actually need to talk to people. <laughs> we'll be neat because that'll help cleaning the store as well. I think that'll be useful. And just cheerful, just happy, you know, having a good time. All right, where do we want to live? Let's live in Brightchester. It's been a while since we've been here, you know? Now, I know we could buy this house and the game would happily give it to me and then we'd have zero money, but I prefer doing this challenge having zero money on an empty lot. Uh, that's just how I like to play Rags and Riches. That's what we're gonna do, so enjoy it. <laughs> Great, it's snowing. That's awesome. We don't have indoors. So we cannot make skills. Cannot make skills, cannot improve our skills, but we can probably still fish and get at least level one fish. Oh, is this really not a fishing spot? That, that totally looks like a fishing spot. Oh, did I choose a neighborhood we can't fish in? <laughs> right. All right, let's go to the Desert Bloom Park because I feel like that's where we can get like violins and stuff in the water. Like, I feel like, I don't know if, it, if it, that's actually the case, but it seems like I get luckier here than anywhere else. I am curious though. So now this whole challenge is about not building skills. Do we, we just don't even get a skill bar. That's actually kind of, that's so weird. I like that. That's so cool. You know, adding to this, it would be cool if there was a way to like lock the skill level so that let's say I wanted to only be level three fishing and look, violin. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. Anyway, yeah, it'd be cool if you could, wait, now I'm hot here. Okay, it's freezing in um, the other place, but. Hot here, so let's change into everyday. Wait, I just changed into formal. That was, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> just everyday is fine. Okay, so we've got a violin, which is great. 425, not too shabby. Yeah, it'd be great if you could like lock skills at a certain level. So if I never wanted to be better than level three, you could like set it there. That'd be cool. Right, well, I'm just gonna fish for a while. I do, I'm just gonna sell like fish and stuff, but I might keep stuff like if we get more violins or something. Oh, we got that voodoo doll in Solani. Maybe we should do more fishing there. I don't know if you have to be a higher skill level, but let's try that. Okay, don't let me down, Solani. Give me that sweet voodoo doll magic. Oh, hey, man. Yes, heart of Solani, let's go! All right, now we're, now we're cooking. As long as I get enough money for the basics, you know, like the bed and all that, we're good. Oh, yes! Okay, Solani is the place to fish. All right, well, we'll leave it there. 574 plus a violin. Not too shabby. Let's go back home. And by home, I mean to our empty plot of land. <laughs> Whoa, it's dark here. All right, so I got 500 bucks. Um, let's go for the tent option because I kind of always forget about that. We got a tent. Um, how much is the cooler? Ah, oh, we can afford that. Okay, so we got food, we got shelter. We don't have a toilet. I'm not sure if there is a public toilet in this area, but that would be super useful because I kind of need it. See, I'm holding on to the violin because I feel like that would be a good item to sell. Um, you know? Well, I'm gonna get some left, well not leftovers, I'm gonna get some cereal, so we're not hungry. 
We do need to go to the toilet. We might just have to go somewhere else for that, but let's sleep till the morning. Okay, let's go somewhere we can earn some more money and pee. All right, we're back in Solani. Uh, I went to the mainland so we don't have to swim to get to the toilet. So let's just run over there and use that. Okay, <laughs> what? Why did you sit down? I said, wait, did, wait, did I, maybe I click sit. No, wait, wait, what? Why are you using the toilet? Use bathroom? Does this not work? Oh wait, there it goes. What the heck? That's so weird. Okay, anyway, whatever, he's fine now. Any of these harvestable? No. All right, well, let's fish in a different spot. Oh, yeah! 890, look at that! Wait, I should have sold the violin and, and kept that because then we could sell that for more in the store. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll probably get more. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Look at this. What's not to love about this situation, you know? Oh, treasure map. Salad! <laughs> Wait, now it's getting hot outside. Let me just change clothes. Okay, I haven't caught anything good for a long time and I'm getting hungry. Yep, yeah, okay, I'm a little hungry now. All right, well, let's beach comb for some trash and then I'll figure out food in a minute. We can probably just go back home again. What do we find? Oh, the eyes of Solani! Oh, that's 50 bucks. <laughs> I thought it was something good. <laughs> yeah, let's try again. More trash. Come on, get that sweet, sweet trash. Oh, okay. Maybe I... <laughs> Maybe there's nothing else. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, it's spoiled. <laughs> we found grilled chicken. No, don't, don't clean it. Can I eat it? Oh, yes, I can. I might as well. Why not? He'll be, he'll probably be fine, right? Yeah, he'll be fine. All right. A little bit more. Oh, I'm too uncomfortable. Oh, I'm too sick to, <laughs> to beach comb. All right. Well, I've got a thousand simoleons. That's pretty good. How much is it to buy an empty plot of land? Because we're going to get a retail store. That's the way. But this one is 3,000. I think the cheapest is like 1,500, is it not? Yeah, 1,500 simoleons. I think those are the cheapest lots in game. Or any any other 20, 20 by 15, I think is similar. Well, those have lots on it. What about this one? Yeah, 20 by 20, 1,500. Okay, so we need 1,500, which I think we kind of have, because if I sold the violin, we're pretty close. Let's go home. Um, actually, need a little bit of social. Uh, <laughs> she didn't think it would be a problem. Hello? How is there no one in this area? Hello? Ooh, collectible. Don't mind if I do. Oh, maybe by the time I get there, I'll feel better. Oh, there we go. Look, I'm fine. All right, don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, treasure map. Sell. Oh, set, set, hmm. selling. There we go. Why is it so gray in this world? I mean, I guess it is also getting dark, but still like, man. Oh, yes. Under what conditions? Give me the money. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. All right, let's buy a retail store. Thank you. Let's go. To be honest, there's not many places that I really want to set up a store. Maybe I should just buy this for 3,000. Is that stupid? It's kind of stupid. I'm going to do it. All right, what I'm going to do is also just pop back home and get my tent and stuff. I probably should have put that in my inventory first, but that's okay. Let me let me pop back home and go grab that stuff. Because we're basically not going to live on our home lot anymore. All right, so we got 600 bucks and a violin. So we... Oh, wait. You're saying I can't set this for sale? I think I need the cash register and stuff for it because it doesn't count as a retail lot yet. So let's um put all my money in the retail store. We'll get, sure, we'll get this, get that, boom. Set for sale, <laughs> yeah! And then I live over here. And the good news is there's a public toilet, I believe, just over there. Fantastic. All right, let's, uh, well, let's open the store. You know, I need a little bit of, um, I need some social for one. So let's open the store. Come on, come all, check out my violin. It is for, wait, what's my markup? Hold up. Closing. 100%. Yeah, so this, like I said, we could use the selling table and sell uh, things that fit on there, probably like all the Solani stuff. But we've already done the selling table a few times, so I think it's time we hit up the retail store avenue. All right. Sorry, I'm opening store again. Sorry about that, guys. Come back, please. <laughs> all right, well, I might as well sit on this Wait for my customers. Hello. Welcome. Hey, guys. Did that, that guy just hated me saying hello. What the heck? Well, you're the one shopping at a field of grass with a violin on it. What, what, uh, why do you guys hate me talking to you? <laughs> Is it because I'm sad? Maybe it's because I'm sad. I'll ask you for some advice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need you to actually buy my violin though. So <laughs> what the heck are you wearing, Vlad? All right, this is where... Oh, hey Vlad, <laughs> welcome. Um, are you a customer or are you just hanging out? Well, I'm gonna have to... Can, I, can you leave if you're not if you're not shopping? Why are you on my lot? Right, I'm just gonna pop to the local bathroom and I'll be back, guys. And I might just have a quick nap, actually, while you guys shop, if that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy a shower because he is having a tough time. So if I, I think if I get this shower, I don't have to worry about him being embarrassed because it's... I think this can be used anywhere. Let's Well, let's see. Let's take a shower. Yeah, there you go. Look, he doesn't mind. <laughs> 
You know, I might have to turn this markup down. This this violin is not selling. See, the selling table. This is why the selling table is OP, because you can put 300% and things just sell themselves. But retail stores are a little different. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to sleep and hopefully that sells itself now. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the store. Welcome. We have a violin covered in rain for sale or whenever you'd like. I'll close the deal on this one. I think you're gonna really enjoy this. Oh, that, that closing the deal did not work. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah! Alright, first sale of the violin! Alright, so 25% markup gets us 531. Look, not too bad, not too bad. Now we restock for 425 and lose most of that money. But we get the item back. And if we start leveling up, we can get the restocking discounts, right? Cheaper restocking. That's what we want right there. And I feel like this could take a while, to be honest. So I wonder if I just go do some fishing <laughs> while I wait. Maybe I can get something good. Oh, can I steal the- Wait, you guys are saying I can actually steal vehicles. And the way to do it is if I go ride bike, hang on, eventually, where is he? There he is. And then if I, so this is obviously is not my bike, but if I then ride it onto my lot, which is over here, if I uh, bike here, then go into buy mode. Oh, hello? Hey, so much. I think I have a crush, a crush on Becca Clark. I don't think that's a good idea, buddy. Leave, uh, no, why, why are you asking me? And then, if, so if I write it onto my lot, then go into buy mode, then pick it up. Heck yeah. Put in my inventory real quick. I don't know if I have to do that, but I was just doing it. This, oh. Well, I can just do this and I can delete it and sell it. So. <laughs> Sweet, 300 bucks. That's how you steal. Heck yeah. Though, to be honest, I probably should have kept that. Uh, it probably would have been useful. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, frog. Ooh, strawberries, I'll harvest. One dirt frog, yes. Six strawberries, selling. Okay, this celebrity nearly wants to buy, but I cannot interact with them. Oh wait, now I can, what the heck? Okay, never mind. I couldn't before. <laughs> okay, she's not liking what I'm saying because I think I'm in a, oh wait, never mind. Because <laughs> I'm in a bad mood, but we're good. Oh good. Okay, I'm wondering, should we, no, I'll restock this. Let me restock that violin. What do we got left over? Okay, I think I need a roof. We need a roof over this because this is just terrible, so. Let's get some floor, which is free. Get our roof over. It's just gonna be floating for now because I don't want to waste money on it. So now at least under here is undercover. So, you know, that's pretty good. Now I have 500 bucks. Um, oh, you know what I should do? I got an idea. Well, I'm gonna sleep first, close the store. All right, let's go use the bathroom and then we'll need to have some breakfast. There we go. Yep, just add that to that pile. Then we head over to Evergreen Harbor and do some dumpster diving. Heck yes. Get free stuff out of the dumpsters that we can then sell. All right, dive for deals, obviously. That's all I want. Hey, that's mine. Thank you. Recyclable, no, I want I want furniture. I don't want recyclables. What am I gonna, a potion? What am I gonna do with that? Wait, how much is it worth? 80 bucks? Okay, you know, no, that's fine. Let's dive for some more deals. I don't want recyclable. Oh, it's, oh, it's empty. Great, thanks a lot. Let's get it. Next dumpster. Stop talking to people. We're trying to find trying to find stock for our store. <laughs> Dumpster is empty. Okay, but there was nothing good in that one. And there's another one over here, isn't that? Yeah, there it is. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's burnt. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, we can still sell it probably. Eco upgrade part. Ugh. Robot Ugh. Okay, you know what? We didn't really find anything good, to be honest. <laughs> we did not find anything good. Dumpster is empty. What the heck? That was my only reason for coming here was to die for deals. Hey, you said it was empty. Why do they get to dive? That's not fair. Well, I'm just gonna have a nap. Oh yes, dive for deals. I don't know how it filled up while I was in here, but it did. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. We found a bed. All right, let's go back to the retail store. We have bed, which is worth 25 simoleons. <laughs> Okay, maybe it wasn't as good as I thought it was to find that. This is worth 300, but I think as soon as I put it down, it's worth zero, so... But if I... Ugh, I have to replace it. It's not, it's not really worth it, is it? This is also not really worth it. I mean, unless I sleep on it, but that's probably not very good. Kind of feel like we didn't do that well, but I'm gonna put this here, set that... Oh. You can't set the potion for sale? Oh, that was right, that was a mod. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, okay, well, I can sell them from my inventory. All right, sell those. All right, I have another plan, which I just remembered. I believe it's a lot trait. No, challenge. Landfill lot. This place is a dump. Trash accumulates on this lot. This is the one that also other sims will just come and dump like a fridge. I think it's that one. We'll find out. Um, there is also the, the lot challenge that just gives you money. <laughs> the penny pixies, but I'm going to leave that out. We'll, we'll not do that one. All right, let's... um. Let's see what happens. Let's also maybe take a shower because <laughs> you stink. We could also, oh, a dumpster's more expensive than I thought. Okay, I was gonna say, we could also buy a dumpster. But yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that bed. Let's get get rid of the bed. Let's get the dumpster because then we can dumpster dive here 
And also we can get rid of these plates and stuff that we have. I like how I put it right next to my tent. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, store is open. Um, looking good. Let's, um, I don't know. Die for deals. Let's go, let's find some more stock. Oh, five bucks, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I feel like I should sell some of this stuff whilst we're, you know, during the day. And then once once I need to use it, I can set it not for sale, you know? Because now we just have more stock. See, look, he wants to buy the shower. Fantastic. Yeah, I've only used it like three times, so it's pretty good. Oh, no, he went to my tent. Oh, okay. Well, I've used that a few more times. Anyway. Wait, no, no, don't, don't. No! Why did I click remove sign? It's okay, I can just buy another one. But still, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. There we go. It's back. Don't worry, guys, it's back. <laughs> I want to get enough money to restore this table so we can sell it. Which I guess I could just buy the table. There's literally no point to me restoring it. Right, I'm going to need to actually use this tent <laughs> to sleep in. Oh, yes, we got a fridge. <laughs> yes. See, I told you. I told you. All right, let's go repair this. Then we can sell it. Now, this is how we get free stuff. Problem is, my um, handiness skill does not increase. So if I get electrocuted and I'm not able to repair this, this is a problem. There we go. And there we go. Wait. I can't sell fridges? Oh, well, that's kind of lame. I thought I could just sell it. Can I really not sell a fridge? That's so lame. Do I just place it again? Hmm. No, sell them that way instead. Now we have enough to replace the table and set it for sale. Let's go. Oh yes, we got a sale. Yeah, it's the table. Oh, I found a potted plant, yes. Okay, I think we're making it big time now, guys. Look, once this train gets rolling, we're good. Oh yes, look at us go. There we are. Restock as well. Now we're in the money, guys. Hey, get out of my tent. Oh, yes, we found a chair. How much is this worth? 10 bucks? Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this is gonna be worth selling it. <laughs> yes, we got a TV. Oh my gosh, if I can repair this, this is gonna be a good sales item. Because really, we just need to sell expensive things. The more, obviously, the more expensive it is, then we only need like one sale to earn that amount of money. But the problem is it takes a long time to sell really cheap things at the moment. But if I can repair this without dying. Oh yes, we got a sale. He wants my shower. And now I can, wait, you can't, you know, I'm pretty sure you can sell fridges and TVs, but maybe I can't sell them because they're like, they were dumped. I don't know. I'm actually not sure about that. I swear you can sell TVs. Oh yes, and another set. Look at this, flying off the shelves. Well, off the floor, I guess. All right, what I'm gonna do, let's let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Let, maybe we just need more expensive item. Okay, this TV is not sellable for some reason. I, let me just, what if I buy an expensive TV? Oh, that can't even place on that. It's not something that I can place up here. Okay, I'm gonna buy these, which are really expensive by the way. Now surely I can sell this, right? Oh. I can't even put that on a counter. Why did I think I could put it on a counter? Now I swear we can sell these things. Let, I'm gonna, let me try a stove. What about a stove? Yeah, okay, there we go, set for sale, good. Oh, I should probably buy a shower again because I got rid of my other one. Ooh. Okay, I spent all my money on the stove. That, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, I'll just sleep it off. I'll sleep off the stank. Oh, sale, ding, 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 ding. Oh, he's buying the stupid chair. I'm not restocking this chair, it's only $10. Oh yes, she might be buying the stove. $12, great, that was, that was a good one. Let's just remove that sign. 1900, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's remove the sign, because we're just, let's get something different. Because we got a bit more money now, you know? It's all about climbing that ladder. But first up, let me get a shower back again. <laughs> all right, we got the shower. Oh, Bridgerton Bay model, can we sell this? It's a pretty, I love this item, it's pretty cool. I just don't get, I don't get to use it that much, so maybe we can sell it. She's liking it. Let's dive for another deal real quick, see if we got anything else. Oh! <laughs> get a stove. Okay. Hey, some of these are pretty good. Look, it's a little dirty. You know, it's all right. We'll repair it. Yep, it's spewing flames. So that's okay. Repair that too. All right, TV is fixed. Still can't set it for sale, but we can set this for sale. I'm just cleaning it up. And then I can say set for sale. Sure, I could keep it for myself, but that's not going to happen. All right, I'm just going to, I guess I'll just delete this TV for some cash. You know, a nicer bed would also be good because this tent is really not getting my energy up. Oh, yes. Here we go. She wants the stove by the looks of it. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, we got another TV. Just arrived on lot. Here we are. Nice sale. We'll remove that sign. That was free 750 bucks because that was out of the dumpster. What's this? Oh, it's like a, a wardrobe kind of thing. But it looks like it's burnt, so it's useless. Oh, yes. <gasps> buying this. They're buying this. Wait, what did I just find? What the heck was that? Oh, a sink. Sweet. 2,000 bucks. All right, let's remove the sign. Let's just try to sell everything and then we'll get some new stock, you know? All right. They're not buying this thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the tent. I'm going to get rid of this thing because no one's buying it anyway. Then, here's my plan. I'm going to buy an expensive bed. Energy 8, here you go. And we'll sleep in this during the day. Or, well, whenever. And then we'll sell it at other times. So we'll go sleep now. 
So nothing for sale, the store's closed. I'm also gonna go 50% markup, we could probably push it. So this will mean we get a really good night's rest and get some actual sleep. Then we set up for sale, boost our profit margins, reset. oh, look at all this stuff we got going on here too. I gotta finish repairing these so I can just sell it all. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up, we're gonna open the store, set that for sale, and then let's maybe throw away some of this junk while we're at it. All right, stove is good. Can't set it for sale, but I might keep it and repair the fridge. Maybe we should just keep these two things. We can actually make food. And actually, I found that, where's that sink? I found a sink, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. Sweet. Got a whole kitchen, look at this. And I got this, which I think is burnt. So I think that's useless, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's um repair the sink. All right, we're gonna get a sale. We need a sale, so let's, let's get on with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just left. You know, I feel like the 50% markup didn't help us. So let's maybe go back to 25. Can you stop talking to me? Go look at the bed. That's what you're buying. <laughs> All right, so we fixed the TV, so I'm gonna sell these. There we go, and I, I guess I'll just sell the trash plants too, because they're not worth anything. Um, oh, we got another stove. I'm just gonna get rid of this burnt armor. We're not gonna use that. So there's this here as well, which I guess is broken, but I'm just gonna sell it, so that's sweet. All right, we got $12.99. We're a bed store now. Okay, I'm not helping. Whenever I talk to them, I'm really not helping. They, they get more upset. <laughs> Because I'm going to buy something. We haven't sold anything in ages. I think moving into the bed business is a, a bad idea. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I feel that's worth some good money. Honestly, we've made more money from diving in the dumpster than anything else. <laughs> and we found a chair. All right, so we found this for 260. I'm just going to sell this stuff. We found another sink and this, which is going to be worth zero. So I'm not going to cheat that. Oh, yes, we finally got a sale in ages. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're going to sell a computer. That's the way of the future. Oh, I should probably buy a toilet too. Surprise, surprise, having a dumpster next to your bed is not a good idea. You know, but I figured it wasn't like overflowing, so it would have been fine. <laughs> Obviously not. All right, hey guys. Um, I'd appreciate it if you buy the computer or that bed. Okay, I really got to work on getting more perk points too. Because if we get Curious Shopper, for example, they'll spend more time browsing before they leave, which is good. But Serious Shopper is really good, so they'll have more desire to buy. And then if we get cheaper restocking, you know, all that really good. So we need to look into all that stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ring up customer. And she's nearly ready to buy as well, which is great. There we go. 1800 bucks. And we restock. Oh, no, never mind. They want the bed. I will gladly sell you my bed. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. 3,600. Not too shabby. Let's restock both of those items. Oh yes, free fridge. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure I can just go into buy mode and sell this right away. Um, I can, but I feel like we should try to repair them before just selling them, you know? All right, so, so far in the fourteen or oh, $400,000 challenge, I've got 1,400 simoleons. Oh my god. Gonna be honest, retail store, not the quickest. Not as quick as I thought it would be. Um, look, selling table would have been way quicker. And also gardening would have been quicker, even without the skills. <laughs> a lot of stuff would have been quicker. But I, I've committed to this, so we're gonna see how long this takes, okay? All right, now we're gonna sell this. Should be, is it worth more? No, it's actually worth the same, okay. Uh, but we should have uh, some junk in my inventory I can get rid of. Yeah, we got a lot of random stuff, like the buys and upgrade parts, which I'm not using. So let's sell all that for a bit of cash. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna talk to you because I need to get my perk points up. That's kind of, about, that's gonna be the driving, Factor right now. We need to we need to get more perk points. Yay! Got a sale. Let's go. Fantastic. Uh, let's restock that because I kind of need to sleep soon, so <laughs> I need that back. All right, this kid is nearly ready to purchase too, which is fantastic. Yay! Here we go. Ring up customer. Fantastic. All right. Let's um. I'm gonna close the store. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that. I'm not gonna restock it right now. Let's, I'm gonna, we're gonna push for the 50% markup again. And I'm just gonna, we just need to interact more with the customers, basically. I mean, no, shouldn't be a surprise. Obviously we have to do that. All right, I'm gonna, we need a toilet. <laughs> I just have so little money. It's just so bad. Like, I know we have this, but I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Okay, I guess we don't need this anymore either, do we? Let's get rid of that. We're gonna do that cubicle. This, that's our house. That's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> I guess I don't need that wall. <laughs> okay, now we need something expensive to sell. 3,700. That's pretty close to my maximum amount of money right now. So let's get that. I'm gonna set that for sale. I'm gonna, I guess I'll open the store. We'll have, we'll have it running while I'm sleeping. I'm also gonna get a bicycle because I probably should have kept the one I had before. Set his preferred bike. Go right around because it just boosts our fun up real quick. Oh, he's loving it. He's absolutely loving all my uh, shopping advice. Yay! <laughs> okay. Let's sell that, please. Please give me some good money for this. Okay, you can also leave if you don't want to buy anything, by the way. 5,500. Heck yeah. Restock for 3,700. 
We're on the way now, guys. Just another, <laughs> oh God. another like 10 weeks in game and then we'll be there. We'll get there, we'll get there, all right? We're committed. You know what? I'm gonna get some lights. It's kind of really annoying me that I don't have any lights. It's like one, you know, maybe some walls. Can we, can we indulge a little, at least a, at least a bit? There we go, we got a little room now, look at that. Can I afford a little outhouse for the bathroom? There, it's beautiful. My bed's still outside though. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! All right, we got another sale. Let's go. Good news is with all these interactions, our perk points are going well. 715, not too shabby. Pretty good. Uh, no, oh, don't remove it. Restock it. <laughs> I don't want to change my stock just yet. All right, I'm just going to fix up this uh, stove here because I'll sell this old stove as well. There we go. Yes, the kid's buying. <laughs> it's always so weird when the kids buy stuff. Hey, don't buy that. You won't, you won't want to buy anything in my store anymore. That'll make you sad. Come on, buddy. I know you want to buy something. Hey, all right, let's restock that. Oh my gosh, all right. Um, oh geez, we're getting there. It's slow, but we're getting there. Where are my dust bunnies at? Uh, do I have those off? Is that why? Enable the dust system. I th maybe it's on now, I don't know. I'm confused by it. Hey, all right, let's bring up customer again. There are over a thousand perk points now too, which is good. I mean, ideally cheaper restocking is what I want, but also serious shopper, maybe I should get that first because then they all come in wanting to buy more likely, you know? All right, we've got 11,000 in business funds. I'm thinking we, how much does this sell for? 2,000? It's time soon to move into the violin game because that is where the big bucks are made, okay? <laughs> and now let's try selling this bed. 8,000 bucks, we're gonna sell it. Actually, you know what? We're gonna close up. We're gonna go up to 100% markup. We're gonna double the value of this bed. But first I'm gonna go to sleep. All right, let's open up the store. 100% markup. I guess I could do, what's the other stuff? You can do like, um, I need to do like marketing or something. Is it in here? Purchase advertising. I don't think we really need to do that though, to be honest. We seem to be doing okay. All right, where are my customers at? Oh, I've got all this junk out the front. Gonna be honest, the dumping ground thing is probably not that useful anymore. Just gonna get rid of that. It would look, it was good at the start, but I think we've got money now, so. Um, are any of you actual customers? Oh yeah, you are, okay. Okay, can you leave? Stop doing that. I need you to give me 16 grand for this bet, okay? Because I'm really struggling in this challenge. <laughs> Retail store is not a good way to go. No, get out of here, dude. Don't dance. Why? Leave. Dude, it's actually just embarrassing at this point. No one cares. Ugh, this kid got really angry. Like I had really good progress and then I got super angry and I lost it all. Yay! Okay. Oh wait, don't, don't bike here. Oh, okay. Well, I just did it by mistake. <laughs> that seemed unnecessary. All right, so this should sell for what? 16 grand? Okay, no, no, ring him up. What are you doing? <laughs> 17 grand. Oh, so good. All right, so now we got a little bit of cash. Is anything worth more than the violin? Surely, because that, that's 13,000. The reason, if you don't know, that I used to sell violins is because that was the most expensive thing you could sell. But there's been a lot of expansion packs since then, so let's have a look. This bed is the same price as the violin, so 15,000. So we need something more expensive than 15,000, and that if we can sell that, that's it. All right, I think I've just been through every category. The most expensive thing is either the violin or this bed at 15,000. That seems to be the most expensive item. So apparently this doesn't fit in this room. Is it because of that light? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be selling this bed because we've done the violins before. The violins are good because they're small, but I mean, the bed looks pretty glorious. So let's try selling this thing. Right, set for sale, open store. And we nearly have enough points for um, the first trait I want to get too, which is great. Hey guys, anyone want to buy this bed for 30 grand? <laughs> pretty great. Ooh, 1300 points. Let's go. So serious shopper. Customers will have greater desire to purchase an item when they first enter. Yes, please. Now I'm just going to close the store so we can sort of flush out all these people. And we'll get new shoppers in that are more interested. Oh, who trapped my toilet? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> I gotta fix it. I'm gonna open up the store as well so that we have some people coming in now that should be more excited to buy, which is great. So I think this also gives us a good idea of how overpowered the selling table is. Because remember we can sell bouquets of flowers for like 15 grand like that, or like 20 grand. This is how long it takes to sell one bed at, <laughs> at like 20 grand. All right, how interested are you in buying, by the way? Not very, to be honest. I thought you were supposed to come in a little bit more interested in buying, but okay. Oh yes, here we go. Bring up customer, come on. Yeah, stop talking to them, I don't care. Stop talking to them. <laughs> Just give me the money for this bed, please. I want to make some, some progress on this challenge. Oh, 30 grand. All right, let's restock for 15. And hopefully she's still interested in purchasing because I got her all the way up to the top as well. All right, the bed is back and now enthused about the store. Let's see, please tell me you sell your progress. Oh yes, sale right away. 
Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. No, no celebrity. We have a strict no celebrity policy. Get out of here. All right. Let's see. We made 30 grand. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All bit. Very slow. We are getting there though. Let's um, let's put some of this in my household just real quick. Cause yeah, that'll, that'll get us completed some of these, which is nice. All right, let's hit the hay. So who's good at sales? Becca Clark, I'm gonna get you. So I want someone to actually do some sales for me. And how much, wait, how much money do we have? Enough. So I'm gonna get a second bed so we can get at least two of these on the go, you know? <laughs> yeah. So hopefully the assistant will help. Uh, sometimes they really do nothing for us, but we'll try. Set for sale. All right, sign work task, essentially, Answer questions, because that'll just keep talking to customers and hopefully getting their sales bar up. Okay, this weather is kind of crazy. <laughs> Everyone's getting scared. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna also add my own bedroom now, and I'm gonna move the door to the bathroom here. I'm gonna move all my kitchen stuff into my place. Locked off for everyone, but Samaj. And uh, let's, I don't know. This, this storm is really not helping. Yeah, I think it's a little less stormy now, so I'm gonna open up again. Oh, no, the storm's come back. Okay, the storm had gone for a little bit, but uh, okay. Judith, you're gonna have to leave. Stop storming again. Let's open up. Just, <laughs> it's really hard to do business when everyone's scared. Yay! Get another sale, finally! It took a billion years, but we did it! <laughs> we get one more sale. I feel like Becca's really not helping me. I'm gonna have to let her go, to be honest. I don't know why I thought the employee would be a good idea. It never is. We got more thunderstorms though, which is just fantastic. Why are they always scared from thunderstorms? It's not that scary. These two are so close to buying stuff, but I can't talk to them because I'm scared and I can't stop being scared because it's a thunderstorm. Uh, I'm turning it off because it's just, uh, wait, it's weather options, isn't it? <laughs> rain and thunderstorm, just rain, no thunderstorms. Super annoying, just, just stop. <laughs> okay, there it goes, all right, we're good. Okay, there's one, I just want to lock in the next one too, just because it looks like she's about to leave. Maybe if I leave her, she'll uh, just work on it herself. All right, 30 grand. Good. Oh no, now I'm uncomfortable too. Okay, I can't talk to her. Dang it. We might have lost that sale. Stop talking. Go to the toilet. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I offer her food. Here you go. You can have that. Maybe then she'll eat and stay longer. Oh, come on. Stop. Just, if you're so uncomfortable. Oh, wait, she's happy. Wait, no, now I'm uncomfortable. Oh wait, she's eating. Okay, that's good. But I need to go like nap or something because... Oh wait, no, now I'm happy. It's fine. Back, back, back. Just come on, close the deal. Come on. Wait, why am I uncomfortable again? No, I'm happy again. What the heck? So many mood swings. Come on, it's so close. Just get the sale. Just get the sale. Just get the sale. Ugh, come on. No kid. I've got this deal to close. Yes! Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I just want to sell the other pad. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. All right, let's restock both of these and then, uh, oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Let's close the store. Let's restock those, get my needs sorted. Aspiration completed. Well, that was easy. Maybe I should be incredibly friendly. That might help meeting people. I don't know, we'll try that. You know what, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna say purchase advertising. I don't have any money in my business. I just took it all out. Hang on, let me, <laughs> let me put some of it back. Purchase advertising. We're gonna do long-term television ad for 1800 bucks. Let's just get more people in because if there's more people, maybe we'll purchase or we'll sell stuff more li like likely, right? It's actually good to have a bunch of people here because it should, um. At least get my perk points up quicker. They're gonna just rattle through all these people. <laughs> yeah, she bought another one. Heck yeah, thank you. We definitely have more people in the store now, I think, because the advertising, which is good. All right, then we're gonna just go through all you guys, get all your stuff up. Yay! Oh, okay, this is basically just a game of talking to these sims until they buy this stuff now. It takes a little while, but we're getting through it now, which is good, you know. We're getting there, restock that. I have 1,085 perk points. If I can get to the 2,500, then we will be able to get cheaper restocking, so we'll be able to make more profit. We are about 93,000 in total right now, which is not... Bad, but it has certainly been a slow grind. Yay, finally. Okay, we got another one. And there we go, sold that one. Let's restock it. So apparently really hot in here. I might get the thermometer just to maybe get some air con. <laughs> Best sterling, yes, don't know what uh, Somalian. Best is gonna help me out, guys. All right, I can, this kid, Alexander Goth, you're the next mark, because kids don't know how to Kids don't know the value of a dollar, so I think we're good. <laughs> hey, finally got another sale. Let's go, man! It is it is so much work doing this. I gotta I gotta say, <laughs> it's so much work. 
Agnes Crumplebottom, what are you doing here? There's no way I'm gonna be able to get you to buy something, is there? No way. She's feeling playful though, so she's in a good mood, <laughs> which is surprising. Oh, she's actually pretty interested in purchasing. You know what? Maybe Agnes will give me a little bit of money here. Oh no, I think she's gotten angry again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's very angry. It's okay, Agnes. Agnes, it's okay. Oh, yes! Dude, go, what are you doing? Ring up the customer! Good lord. <laughs> Sometimes things are just such a mess. Thanks, Agnes. Worth it. Alrighty, big Vladdy Daddy is buying a bed. Which one? Where did he get a bed? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess he had to turn into a bat just to go there. Alright, thanks, bud. Oh, okay. Oh, he's back again. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and we'll restock that. There we are. Alright, who's next? Dina? How do you feel? Oh, you're uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna need you to leave. If anyone's in a bad mood, you're gonna have to leave the store because you're gonna bring everybody else down. Hey, thanks, buddy. Let me get that sale. Oh my gosh. All right, so okay, if you could hurry up and get this sale, please. Just, just there you go. There you go, buddy. Where, where are we actually at now? We got thirty thousand in business funds. We're gonna get another thirty now, but I have to restock the bed. So let's restock that now. All right, we got forty-five left. Oh my gosh. We're not even halfway yet. Oh my gosh. All right, we're, we're getting there. All right. You're in a very sad mood, so you're gonna have to leave. Sorry. Uh, let's go talk to this person. All right, you're in a good mood. We nearly have enough points for the, the discount for restocking, um, which is for the cheaper restocking, 2,500. I think you can actually buy that multiple times too, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, it's taken so long to get us the first time. We're probably not gonna get it twice. Hey, another sale. And we're pretty close again to uh, the restocking discount. So I wonder, I might not restock just yet because we might actually be able to hit that before the next bed is sold. I'm just gonna get some nice decor in these places because my sims are getting really upset by how ugly everything is. Environment seven, it's like $2,000, but it's worth it. <laughs> there, that should make you happy. Yeah, there you go, look at that. Oh, someone booby trapped the toilet again. Uh, all right, let's repair it, flush it, clean it, clean that. Hey, got another sale. But I don't think, yeah, we don't have enough points to be able to do the little upgrade yet, which is kind of annoying. Even with the sale, we we'll only have 2,400. I still need another 100 points. So we'll have to restock at least one of these beds. All right, it's time that I finally got my own toilet because they literally keep breaking the one in there. It's so annoying. Also, I probably should just put that back to a cubicle now because there's no need for it to be its own thing. Hang on, let me, uh, let me rearrange here. All oh, right, that should be better. <laughs> Wow, my store is really coming along, guys. Oh man, it's been a long time. I just gotta get my needs up again, though. All right, 2,500, yay! <laughs> we can finally get the cheaper restocking. All right, how much cheaper does it actually make it? 11,000, okay. That means we sell for 30 grand and only restock for 11,200. That's pretty good. Yeah, bed is restocked for 11 grand. Pretty good, pretty good. This is why I got rid of the bathroom store because people just keep going in there and crying for five hours. And look, when I'm playing this retail store for like three and a half hours now I've been recording, it's super annoying hearing them constantly crying in the background. I don't have time for this. Either buy something or get out of my store. <laughs> All right, well, we're selling a bed, which is good. Finally, it's been a while since we sold one. Yay, now we're getting somewhere. Please buy my bed. All right, we gotta um, restock the bed again. Alrighty, let's um, put that money at least in my account so we can see what we got. 228, all right, we're, we're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, wait, you're very uncomfortable. Let's talk to the hooded man. Oh, you're not also not that happy either. You know what, I'm gonna close the store. I'm actually gonna put the markup back down to 50%. Now that we have the discount of restocking, I'm wondering if that might actually be quicker. Because it takes very long time to get the sales at 100%, you know? Katrina is buying a bed, yes! All right, let's bring up the customer. So what do they sell for now? We're at 50%, so what, like 20,000? No, wait, be like 22,000. Yeah, 22,500, okay. It's about double what we're restocking for still, so that's still good. All right, you got another sale, let's go. Oh my gosh, it is, uh, it's getting that. Wait, dude, ring up the customer, what are you doing? No, don't you dare, don't you dare lose this sale. Oh, thank the Lord, all right. <laughs> I just want this waking nightmare to be over. 
Uh, restock. Alrighty, got another sale. I think, I mean, surely it, it, it does seem quicker to get these sales than before at 100%. So I, I think this is definitely a better way to go about it. Alright, it's restock again. But it just fe it feels like it's slower because I only get 11 grand per sale, you know? I'm getting another employee. We're going to try that again. I feel like it didn't really help, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, let's open the store. I've got an employee again. We're back at 100% markup because, I don't know, it felt like it was too slow. Alright, you are going to be answering questions. Yeah. Alrighty, another sale. I feel like it looks like I'm getting so many sales really quickly because that's kind of all I'm showing. But man, this is taking a long time. I don't know if I've already said that like 20 times. Oh, I earned 14,000 from investing. <laughs> also, you can see how much lower I'm sinking in my chair. I forgot about that thing. So we got a little bit of a boost. 294. Oh my gosh, we're only 100,000 away. Let me tell you guys, just don't, don't do retail with no skills because this sucks. <laughs> it's taking, oh gosh. I mean, like it's working, but you know, at what cost? Yay, we got another sale finally. Okay, we're, look, we're getting there. I think we have to sell like, I don't know, can't be that many more beds at this point, right? We're close. We got 30,000 in stock. Oh, well, we'll have like 20,000 when we restock. Look, we're over 300 grand, so we're not far away. All right, Katrina, this is your time to help me out. For once, please, give me all your money. Yay, Katrina, you did it. Thank you, thank you, Katrina. You single-handedly saved my business. All right, once again, I'm gonna fire the employee because uh, they don't help. <laughs> I don't know why I keep trying that. All right, so let's move the money out of the business. We have 330,000. If we sell both of those without restocking, we're at like 390,000. So I think we need to sell three more beds and only need to restock once, hopefully, and that should maybe do it. We'll see. Actually, I got a thousand perk points. Is that any good? Curious shopper. They spend more time. They already spent a lot of time here. They spent a lot of time here. I guess really sure sales, slick salesman, but that's a thousand points away, so I don't know about those. Actually, is anything lower down that could be good? Ah, let's just do curious shopper. There you go. They'll stay longer, apparently. She doesn't seem like a problem that we have. Hi. Oh, you're bored already. Okay, you're no good. All right, see, everything must go sale. We must sell both beds and then restock and sell one more. And everything must go. All righty, got another sale. Come on, come all. Ding, 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 ding. No, wrong button. This one, yeah, sale. <laughs> Ring him up. All righty, looking good. So we should only need to restock this bed and then hopefully if we sell these two, that's it. Yay! Sold it again. All right, let's get rid of that one. All right, so we got 48,000. So if we put this into our regular bank account, we only need 20,000 more, which actually, we might actually have that value if I just sell this building. <laughs> Let me see. I don't want to do any more retail. I'm over it. If I just delete the whole building. 15. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. And then we just transfer all the money out of the business. Oh, thank the Lord that is done. Good grief. You know what? That was only 21 days. That wasn't even as long as some of my other scenarios. Why did this take me so long? I guess the retail just is a really lot, like it, it takes a lot to do it. Cause it's been nearly four hours I've been playing this, which is longer than any of the other ones that I've done of the scenarios. But I think because of the retail having to click to do stuff, man, that was rough. I do not suggest retail for the no skills, no problem challenge. Um, I do want, I mean, obviously the selling table would have been better because that is so easy to sell stuff. And then I guess the gardening would also be good. I mean, if you have any other ideas of a good way to make 400 grand with no skills, please let me know in the comments down below, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It was hell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.